Hey friends, welcome back to Kimmy's Kitchen and More. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. I have a craft room tour to share with you guys. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting it and wanting it for a while, but I finally got organized and got to a place where I'm like, okay, I'm ready to show it. <laughs> so, um, first off, I have this sign up here. And when I had originally bought it, it didn't have enough letters to do Kimmy's Kitchen. So I wrote my saying that I always say, guys always hear me say, be kind. So I have that up there on the wall. And then down here, I have this mirror and I did a DIY on this mirror um, and put those roses up on there. Had it to do over again, I probably would have put maybe like peach and white, um, you know, like a coral kind of color and white, but it's okay. The red's really pretty. And um, then I have a sticker up there. You can see Max, <laughs> Max in the mirror. And um, I have the sticker up here. It says, let go and let God, because that's always a great reminder just to let things go and just let God handle it. And then over there, I have a picture of my family when many years ago, when my daughter was really a small baby and my son was a lot younger. And my husband and I were a lot younger too. <laughs> Okay, so over here, ooh, it's gonna be bright for you. I have my light for when I'm recording. And then down here, I just have boxes, boxes and mailers, tape, things like that, and little bags that I have for um, when I mail out front mail. And then over here is my printer and copier. And then down here, I have my craft stuff organized. Um, so in this door, you'll see like just different flowers and things and mesh, um, things that I'll use. These are like little, um, clips that I had made with elephants on them. Um, so this is just crafting stuff in here. And I try to label it on the outside so I know what I'm grabbing. And then in here is for like candle making. Um, there was a project that I was going to work on and then like, time just got away from me but but there is a um project that I want to do with those candles that's why I have so many and then there's the wick for when my daughter and I made candles and then there's lots of um potpourri for when I made a wreath for a friend of mine and then there's also a bunch of seashells I love to collect seashells at the beach um I don't typically sometimes I'll, I've bought them before at the Dollar Tree but um while I'm at the beach I always collect them it's one of my favorite things to do is walk along the beach and collect them and then down here I have like Christmas things um craft stuff to make you guys see when I made those mini wreaths and then I have wrapped them with the ribbon so that's what all that is about down there and then up here I just redid this wall what do you guys think it says Kimmy's Kitchen on there and then I just hung these up um and I just think it turned out really pretty. I really like it. I've got a dragonfly there and a bird up there. And then there's my picture that um, my sweet friend Andrea from Queen Bee Andrea had made me. And then I love that saying. I thought it would be perfect under that picture. And it says, um, let your smile change the world, not the world change your smile. Because no matter what anybody says or does to you, you don't take that smile off your face. Because guess what? Tomorrow's a new day. And nine times out of ten, things end up working out anyways. So why fret and why take that smile when somebody else might need your smile? So you know what? Even though that person didn't want it, you give you can give it to somebody else. So, and then down here, I've of course got my trash can down there. Down there, I've got some stuff out to be sitting down there to be mailed out. Over here, I've got my cute little Elvis cow that my sweet friend Tony over at Creative Chica Halls got me. And there's just my computer and my laptop. And uh, a collection of pins that all my sweet friends have given me over the last, last year and a half. And um, that's a picture of my daughter and I when she was really small. And it's a picture of my son and I when he was really small. <laughs> And um, this is the elephant um, puzzle that the kids and I did together. And I just, um, I need to get some of that spray glue. It's it's on there, but I would rather it be more secure when I get ready to pick it up to put it in a frame. 
I do have it glued down to a back. And of course, I just have my desk stuff there. Oops, sorry, Max. And then over here, um, organized, I have like um, just different stamps and things like that. Um, yeah, just all different types of stamps that I have purchased. I like to stamp my friend mail. And then these two bins um, are just all stickers. And I would find I would like to find a better way of organizing those. So if you guys have any ideas, just um, you know, um, comment down below and let me know. I was thinking about maybe doing something like that over there with a um, kind of like a file envelope files kind of thing, and putting them in there. And then in here is just cards that I mail out um, for friend mail and family and things like that. Um, just different birthday cards and. I keep little elephant things and just little note cards and things. Down there in that bag um, is stuff that I have to go out in for the mail, like to different people. I have it just stored down there. And down here in this section is just different crafts that I've worked on that's extra stuff that's left over. And some stuffing back there and some still crafts that I'm still currently working on. Just kind of stick them in the corner, kind of until I get to them. And this little bin is all different types of little um, uh, crafting projects that um, that I have that friends have given me and that I've bought. And here I've got all my paints. You can see I've got it labeled. But um, yeah, I have all my paints and then I also have some um, glitter in there as well. And then in this little container, I've got different um, washi tape and different types of glues. Um, so that's what's in there, which I do need to buy some E6000. I am out of that, and I need to buy some Mod, Mod Podge. That is my little cup holder. My daughter gave me that cute little um, cup holder there. Of course, it's an elephant that I made. It's a picture of me and my dad when I was younger. And my elephants that my sweet friend Tony gave me. And then here, my mom gave me this cute little kitchen organizer that I thought would be, um, it goes really well up here in my craft room with all my craft stuff, so I'll put it up here. Um, this drawer is empty and ready to be filled. <laughs> this drawer has different letters on it. Uh, letters for creating things. And then this has like little blocks and also little, um, like hooks for making, um, pocket letters and different things like that, or just whatever I want to create with um, for um, crafting and then here's my chair y'all usually see me sit in this chair and that table right there you usually see me um, put my Dollar Tree stuff on those books down there are just um, my da my daughter's different um, um, her, her, her different binders for each year that she's been homeschooled and then over here I've got um, I've got envelopes over here to put um, to make different things in to send out and then there's our pages for pocket letters and then I've showed you guys before I just store in this binder all the different papers and such for pocket letters and my sweet friend T Tony also gave me this recently uh, if you watch that friend mail video and I'm going to use these to make different pocket letters because there's lots of flowers and birds in there so I'm going to use those for that um, down here I have in this container which I would also like to buy a container with different drawers in it to um, to work for this um, organization here um, but these are all different beads all these are beads and buttons button art that's what the buttons are for and then these are beads for bracelet making um, I, um, I've recently bought these at the um, the Salvation Army, um, but then this one I have bought off of Amazon. And I like to make some bracelet because these beads are so pretty. Are they beautiful? Okay, so um, I'm gonna be doing that. And then that's a project. This is a project I'm working on too. A little jewelry box. And then down here is a little storage container. I could just put some stickers on there. It says Walk Humbly, Star Wars. Um, stay sparkly and of course my elephant. Y'all know I gotta have elephants in my craft room. Up in this 
this drawer is just different like types of ribbon and such and just little crafting things that I may need rope, ribbon and such and then this one I've got my wood pieces different types for um, I use these to put on like jewelry boxes and stuff and crafts and then back here is some lace ribbon and doilies and then this is called armor etch and uh, those are the gloves for the armor etch but that armor etch is wonderful because it is um, you use that to make um, you can write your name on different glasses and things like that so it's kind of neat on a wine glass or a regular glass whatever type of glass that you want to etch it on so it's really cool and then I recently found this at the um, Salvation Army and it's a high heel stamp so you just put your paper in there and then stamp it and, and it'll print out a little uh, it'll cut out a little um, high heel in there for you so that's fun for friend mail and then my sweet friend Tony gave me this as well and I plan to craft with these little beauties um, and then down here in this one this little drawer I have I got into Dollar Tree and I put lots of different little um, just different stickers and things like that in there all my small stickers I put in there and my big stickers I have up in that other holder and then all these are all different types of paper for um, pocket letters and things like that so that's really neat um, I gotta get back into pocket letter making <laughs> um, one second because something fell so back here y'all have seen me a lot of times record and you would see this back wall I did clean it up like I said I stretched it over to that wall um, but I still have quite a bit there and um, yeah and then so here are the three pocket letters that I have that one is from Miss Brenda um, from Maniac Grammy's Homestead isn't it beautiful and then this one here is from uh, Patty over at Life with Patty and I love it it's beautiful I love all of these and this beautiful one here was from Rosemary at Rosemary Uwak Art and it is gorgeous as well um, Rosemary put this cute little Santa on there and um, Patty put that gorgeous key I love skeleton keys and then just look at that it just spring it just it just uh screams spring and summer right it's gorgeous and up there are my ears from when we went to disney world a few years ago and then my mom gave me that little saying many years ago may god grant you always a sunbeam to warm you a moonbeam to charm you a sheltering angel so nothing can harm you laughter to cheer you faithful friends near you and whenever you pray heaven to hear you and it's an irish blessing and then up there that cute little pin was given to me by a sweet um, sweet Gina from Gina Loves to Craft and she gave she gifted me a bunch of little pins I thought well, that one was cute because Kimmy's Kitchen and more and he's a little cook so and all these gorgeous I now have a place to hang these where you can see them um, and they're not like hidden in the background where people can't see them but these are my beautiful um, tassels from Sweet Tony had made me both of those and I just love them and y'all know purple is my favorite color so I just love that and this beauty um, Rosemary had given me and Tony had made me also those as well and this one with the little tiara so and this is one of my favorite Bible verses God is within her she will not fall Psalms 46.5 and you'll see that on my Instagram as well and then this one is godly authentic um, homeschool mom it says Lord please make me a GAHM godly authentic homeschool mom so yeah and um, we have a little Yoda and, and baby uh, baby Yoda aka um, guru or, or I'm sorry go 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 guru sorry go guru um, the child he has a lot of different little names and this beauty Rosemary made me from Rosemary you rock art and this beauty Gail made me from Gail Patricia's Dollar Tree Halls and more and there's just many many cards from my sweet friend Lois I mean there's just all these beautiful cards here and then like I said over there as well and I'll get another one of those little ropes with those tiny little those pins and I'll probably hang it down below as well 
um, because that's starting to come off. Um, because I'll have more, you know. So um, I'm blessed with some wonderful friends here on YouTube. Now for the back wall, I'm gonna explain the back wall to y'all. So y'all know that I've always had my crosses up there, okay? So my husband made me that a long time ago. It says I love you more than life, and it's got a little elephant on it. And um, Janet made me that from Janet Kay's channel. Now here, I'm gonna talk about this. I wanted to put the word prayer wall because I'm gonna make this my prayer wall, guys. And I wanted to make the word prayer wall, but I didn't have the letters for wall. I had only a few, so I just put prayers until I can change it. But right now it says prayers. And I got in this sticky um, thing there from the Dollar Tree and it's like a sticky bulletin and if anyone needs prayers about anything I'm going to put them on a post note I'm going to put them up here and I'm going to pray about them okay so if you need to send me a message through messenger Facebook Instagram email my emails on my about page anything like that please send me an email or any type of message to ask me for prayers and I'll be more than glad because this is going to be my prayer area okay this is where I'm going to go and talk to God about things that need to be prayed about and answer and prayers that need to be answered okay so please don't hesitate to do that okay and then over here I have um, scissors glue sticks things like that if anybody needs these really big large glue sticks please send me a message to first person that I see messages me I will go ahead and send them to you because I don't have a big glue gun like that. I don't have a need for them. I accidentally bought them. And I hate for them to, you know, just go to waste. Um, and then my glue guns, my hole punch, my different pens and pencils, things like that. Paint brushes, of course my elephant, and my light, my little phone stand. Uh, if you watch a previous video, you'll learn about this um, phone case cover, so please watch that. And then I put these little mats down here so that when I am gluing, um, it will not ruin my little table here. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, craft room tour. If you have, please give me a big thumbs up, share it, and if you've not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, guys, and be a part of my YouTube family. I'd love to have you. And hit that bell notification, that way you won't miss any of my uploads. Um, but until next time, I hope you all have a wonderful, safe, blessed evening. Bye, y'all.